Okay, today is Tuesday, August 22nd, and wow, what a wet and wild day out on the ocean. It was not supposed to be blowing this hard today. I woke up to uh, it drizzling over in Washington, where our camp is, over in Chinook, and as I was coming across the bridge, saw that it was already pretty, not lumped up, but it was starting to sheep up a little bit, starting to get some kind of caps from the wind, and I'm sure you can hear it. It is pretty freaking wicked out here. It was, the swell out in the ocean was nice, it was beautiful, but the uh, wind waves were not fun whatsoever. So, I don't know, that was, that was tough. And Brandon's coming back here right now. Yeah. Dude, that was brutal. Did you get him? All right, nice work. Yeah, some guys absolutely hammered on them, landed on them. Uh, we only had a handful of bites, we got one keeper. But uh, we ended up going to crabbing instead. Our guys were having a good time, but they were pretty darn wet. And that's just not fun being wet trying to fish. And I'm sure we would have kept after it. We would have got on them pretty good. But yeah, they just were not having a good time. And guess what? Fishing is supposed to be fun. And it was not fun out there being that wet. So we decided to come back in and get our pots. We got plenty of good keeper crab. Um, not really much to report out there because we only spent like one pass and had handful of bites and got one keeper so that's about it i know brandon was saying it sounds like he got them all so he probably got 10 or 12 fish out there which is great so they are there you just need to find them stay on them uh for me it was you know, i don't even know why i'm telling you i only had a handful of bites but that little guy there that's a little homemade jobber that is the silver blue scale and i just add a little shirt shoes bill to it and then the other one that got bit was this guy here, of course, Misty River. Misty River always gets bit out, out in the ocean. But that's kind of long and short of it for your report out there. I couldn't really get you much of one just because it was so stinking rough. Whew. Again, not swelly, just wind choppy. We have three, four foot wind waves out of south and that south wind just gets you wet. No doubt about it. Uh, Boy, I need to go dry off. I want a hot shower, I want a hot meal. That was damp, that was very damp. Lots of work to get the boat cleaned up after getting all that salt water in here. Uh, I, actually, I've been getting quite a few questions. I should probably show you guys real quick. I know it's a little bit of a change of subject, but I've been getting a lot of questions about how I have my active targets set up. Uh, a lot of guys are running them on poles, whether it's the Garmin or the Lowrance. The way I have mine set up is so I can see all six rods at the same time as what you've seen in some of the other videos. So here's what I have. It's from a company called uh, Precision Sonar. There it is right there. And I had to look them up. It took me forever, like a few days, trying to find exactly the, the right setup I was looking for. But it's attached to my Minn Kota. Then it has another mount down here. And then I have it in scout mode. So I get a wider beam, I can look left and right a little bit further and it does not look forward or down or uh, does not look down very much see how it's pointed straight out so it's looking straight out at the gear and that's how i got it mounted up so i can see all six rods and know what's going on down there now on days like today where it's that rough i really can't see hardly anything at all and so i didn't even run it today but man i'm ready to get back in the river <laughs> I just wish I had it as an option. That was that was pretty rough. I would have loved to have been able to keep those guys out fishing a little bit longer and let them take home a bunch more fish because the fish are here, obviously. But, yeah, again, it's supposed to be fun. It was not fun out there. Tomorrow, hopefully, will be better. We'll see. It wasn't supposed to be that lumpy out there today. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, I got a better report for you guys for the ocean and for rockfish. But crabbing was bad. Uh, most of them were you know, fairly hard shell. There were still a couple of soft shells out there, but there's some really good quality, lots of females. And so there, there are some crab to, to, to be had. The crabbing gets a lot better in months that end in ER is kind of the general term. So September, October, November. But for now, he gave us an option and was able to get those guys a bunch of uh, crab to take home and split up some fish. So all in all, not a bad day. Gosh, that was brutal. That was so wet. Wow. Soak through my rain gear. Okay. I'm going to reset. 
go dry off, go get myself a hot chocolate, and get all this salt off of this boat. <laughs> oh, have I told you guys how much I hate the south wind? Absolutely hate it. Wow. Thursday, back in the river. Here we go. Okay, guess what? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully a lot drier, unlike today.